I'm gonna talk about recycling here you need batteries. Hello everyone, my name is Emily. I am your hostess on my channel today. I am so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, I just wanna let you know, I have a bilateral, moderate to severe hearing loss. It's genetic, I've had it since birth. So hearing aid batteries are my best friend. The problem is I just never know what to do with them when they die. I think we all have that problem. I am so glad you're on my channel today. If you can take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel, then you'll be able to have access to more excellent content and know when I release my next great video. So we're gonna talk about what to do with your hearing aid batteries when they Die, I wanna know what kind of hearing aid batteries that you have. I wanna hear in the comments below. Please let me know. I personally use Rayovac. I think they're great. I've used them for a while and they work. So it's perfect for me. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm gonna share the difference between the lithium ion hearing aid batteries and the zinc air batteries. Why they're different and what the pros and cons of those. So here we go. Let's figure out how to take care of our dead hearing aid batteries. Most hearing aid batteries are not rechargeable. Those that are rechargeable are easier to dispose of. So regardless of what hearing aid batteries you have, you go through this process. It's really important that you know whether or not you have a rechargeable battery and you'll want to ask the perspective, I guess you could say recycling authorities, if they accept those specific batteries. As you begin your research, you wanna know what kind of battery you have, chargeable or rechargeable, and what size of battery it is. To figure out the answer to this question, I decided I would do some online research. According to the online authorities, it is good to contact your audiologist or your hearing aid provider and ask them if they have hearing aid recycling opportunities. You can contact the city or even other third-party battery companies that may have recycling programs for these hearing aid batteries. So in some states, it is illegal to throw batteries away, specifically places like California. If you throw away a normal battery that is not rechargeable, the materials can get into the dirt and stay in the local goof system. So that's why we want to avoid throwing away our hearing aid batteries, even if we live in a state or a place that allows you to throw away your hearing aid batteries. Okay, so on this adventure, I called lots of people. I called my hearing aid provider and I asked them, do you accept hearing aid batteries to recycle them? They said yes. So all I simply need to do is go to my hearing aid provider and drop off my battery. I got a good stash going. Let's assume my hearing provider did not accept batteries though. What would I do next? Well, I simply went on to my online search engine, Google, and I Googled my local city and battery recycling day. Typically, every city has a battery recycling day. It's done usually in their spring cleaning or fall cleaning seasons of the year. And I just called the city waste disposal and recycling divisions. And I said, I have some batteries I wanna recycle. They're here neat batteries. They are not rechargeable. When when can I bring these in? And they said, unfortunately, due to coronavirus, we don't have our day this year, but we should next spring. So I'm just gonna keep saving mine in this little jar. And I guess when that recycling day comes along, I can contribute these batteries to it. Okay, so let's assume that your hearing provider doesn't accept batteries and your city does not have a battery recycling day. Then what? Well, guess what? I found that there's a third party called Batteries Plus. I also want to add there's this great site called calltorecycle.org. And if you don't want to call it your local city, you can go to that website and they have an awesome interactive site and map that you can use to see how and where and when battery recycling is provided in your area. Okay, so let's assume that your hearing aid provider does not accept batteries to recycle or your city does not accept these hearing aid batteries to recycle, then your last and final option is to find a third party battery recycler. The one that I found in my area was all interstate batteries. They accept batteries for recycling and typically what they do is they collect them and then they ship them to another third party who then pulls them apart and strips them of their usable materials and then takes care of them that way. But all in all, those are all better options than just throwing the hearing aid batteries away. Another third party site that I found was Batteries Bulbs Plus. They are a nationwide company and maybe they have one in your area. I would simply go onto an online search engine and find one near you. If you have rechargeable hearing aid batteries, typically a Lowe's or Home Depot or Home Improvement Store will accept these batteries for recycling. I would definitely call in advance and make sure that they accept them for recycling before you drive all the way there and find out maybe they don't take them. Every location is different. So there you have it. There there are several ways to recycle hearing aid batteries. So now you can spare your batteries from the trash. You can have a collection like me 
And you know what? Like, I'll see if I actually recycle these. I have wanted to make a super cool piece of art. So we'll have to see what I end up doing. But what did we learn from today's video? We are not going to throw hearing aid batteries in the garbage. I'm so glad you stuck around to the end of this video. So I'm going to tell you the difference between lithium ion batteries and normal zinc air batteries. So lithium ion batteries are typically rechargeable and there are more materials that can be recycled in those batteries. With the zinc air batteries, they are activated once you pull off the tab and once the battery and the chemical reaction is used up, it's used up. It can't be recharged or reused. So zinc air batteries are not as eco-friendly. They don't recycle well the lithium ion batteries do though so if you have a choice between the two and you want to be eco-conscious I say definitely go with lithium ion batteries but remember it depends ultimately on the type of hearing aid you have you invested a lot of money in those hearing aids and you want to make sure you have batteries that will power your hearing aids properly I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you learned a new way that you can recycle your batteries and now you can take the commitment to never throw your hearing aid batteries in the trash ever again. Let's do this together. Yes. Okay, so I hope you learned something new. I want to hear about the thing that you love learning most in the comments below. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel so the next time that I post a video, you can be one of the first ones to see it. I hope that I am effectively building a community and a resource for you. I want to answer your questions. If you have any for me, please let me know. I am here for you and I want to generate awareness and answers and just help and support for people who are deaf and hard of hearing like myself. There you have it. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy recycling your hearing aid batteries.